Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're going ballistic. We've got Nosler Ammunition's 120 grain ballistic tip and 7mm odd 8. And here's your box for that Nosler 120 grain ballistic tip and 7mm odd 8. Nice plain box. Let's flip it around to the back. You've got your promo info down here. Feel free to read that if you would like. There's not a ton of information here on these boxes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ballistics chart. I do not see a barrel length listed. They're probably shooting these from a 24 inch barrel to get that 3000 foot per second muzzle velocity. Let's go ahead and pull the stuff out and take a look. Very nice, very clean looking brass. That's always good to see. Let's whip one out. And there's your 120 grain ballistic tip. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Gen 2, chambered in 7mm odd 8, of course. It's got a 20 inch barrel, and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. Up top, we've got a Vortex Diamondback scope, and I've got it in my own custom painted Gen 1 stock. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings here, also available on my website, masonleather.com. If you're looking for a leather sling that'll last a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my whitetail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Nosler ballistic tip, 120 grain load out of the 7.8, minimum 28.16, maximum 29.06 for an average of 28.72. And a quick announcement, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Nosler ballistic tip 120 grain load from the 7mm odd 8. We did capture what's left of all three bullets. One of them's a little tough to see. There's the core right there and then the jacket is further down in the block. They totally separated. Then we have this one right here which if you look at it from underneath it's kind of hard to do with a camera. It looks like the lead core is completely gone from that as well. And then we have this one that looks like it held together for the most part. And so penetration wise for the first bullet we're actually going to split the difference because we have a little piece of core there. What's left of it and then the jacket down there. So penetration I'm going to split right in the middle and give it 17 inches. This one is right at we're going to give it 18 inches. It's a hair more. And then this one is right at 22 inches. And these did slap the first block around a little bit. Coming on up, we can take a look at the wound track, which is pretty nasty looking. They start expanding very rapidly in the block. You can see there's a lot of fragmentation in there. There's the red tips to the bullet right there, right there. And then there's another piece right there. Whole bunch of lead shrapnel fragmentation in there. And that sort of tapers off by about, eh, really right here, it's starting to taper off eight inches, nine inches. And then what's left, the chunks just keep on going until they stop. And here's another angle we can kind of take a look at those wound tracks. Nasty looking stuff. Let's go ahead and dig what's left out and take a look. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. All right, y'all, we've pulled those bullets out of the blocks. Let's take a look at them. The 120 grain Nosler ballistic tips out of the 7 millimeter odd 8. Weight retention, a little bit of variability, not surprising with an Osler ballistic tip. They're a little bit wild. 50 grains, 81 grains, 83 grains for an average of 71 grains retained weight. That's 59% weight retention. Not surprising for a Nosler ballistic tip, especially going this fast. Expansion, 0 0.6, 0 0.61, and 0.63 inches for an average of 0.61 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 2.2x expansion. That's pretty darn good, and considering 
that on average 41% of each bullet is broken up and shrapneled in the target, I think these are going to do some nasty damage. And before I move on to velocity, take a look at the photo here. We did have complete jacket core separation with two of the bullets. One of them managed to hold together. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that that one did. They're Nossler ballistic tips. They're meant to kind of make a mess of things. And on to velocity, our high was 2907. Our low was 2816 for an average of 2872 versus the factory spec of 3000 feet per second. So out of the 20 inch barrel of my rifle, we came in 128 feet per second under factory spec. Not surprising, we're not gonna hit that 3000 feet per second out of a 20 inch barrel. No one's sponsoring this. I'm using the rifle that I have. That's why I'm using it. But compared to all the other 7mm on 8 loads that I have tested, I think it's 19 in total, this performed very favorably. Most loads came in anywhere from 100 to 150 feet per second under their spec out of my rifle. And our estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards would be about 2,642 feet per second. Penetration wise, 17 inches, 18 inches, and 22 inches for an average of 19 inches of penetration. Even though we had jacket core separation on two and there was some variability in the penetration, the average is right there close to the 20 inch mark I like to see for medium game hunting ammo. With a bullet like this, I don't expect super deep penetration and we didn't get that. I'm not dissatisfied with what we see. And kinetic energy wise, with a 120 grain bullet going on average 2,872 feet per second, we're looking at 2,197 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 1,860 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. All right, y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this Nosler Ballistic Tip 120 grain load out of the 7 odd 8. I think it did pretty good for what it is across the board. Weight retention was in the range I would expect for a Nosler Ballistic Tip expansion, once again, sort of in that range. Velocity was comparable to other loads in the caliber in this shot out of this same rifle, so I'm not dissatisfied there. And penetration was about in the range that I would expect for this kind of a bullet. Now, personally for me, this isn't my cup of tea. It wouldn't be my choice for a hunting bullet, personally. That doesn't mean that you can't use it successfully. And it doesn't mean it wouldn't work for you. I think it would be a fine bullet for your smaller southern white-tailed deer and stuff like that. If I was going after some bigger body deer, mule deer, black bear, stuff like that, I would personally want something that holds together a bit better and punches quite a bit deeper. But make of it what you will. If you've used this ammo on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.